Hello friends, so today we are back with another topic and today we are going to discuss about Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, CTS. So what is Carpal Tunnel Syndrome? So this is a condition where a person's palm of the hand that is affected. So basically if you look at, you know, the, there is a nerve called as median nerve which comes from the forearm and enters our wrist in this area and this is a small tunnel which is called as Carpal Tunnel, Carpal refers to our hand and the nerve enters through this area and its median nerve supplies three and a half fingers so one two three and half of the ring finger so basically in the carpal tunnel syndrome the patient who suffers from it will have symptoms affecting the palm of the hand mostly in these four fingers the little finger is not affected and the symptoms can be numbness tingling and pain so the hand uh, you know appears numb and symptoms tend to be more in the night time. So when people go to sleep, that time the hand may feel numb, may feel heavy, the fingers may appear swollen and there may be tingling, burning or painful sensation which can affect the sleep also. And as the symptoms or the disease becomes more severe, the symptoms can be noted in daytime also. And then, uh, and then it can become quite disabling for the person who suffers from it. So who are the people uh, who are prone to get this CTS? So one is it depends on the gender. So women are three times more likely to get it than men. And some of the diseases can predispose which include diabetes, any thyroid disease or Cushing's which is another endocrine disorder. People with arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis, they are also more prone to get it. The second is the jobs. So any job that requires a continuous kind of pressure or irritation in this area. So nowadays use of computer mouse again can put pressure and people who play instruments like tabla or any other instruments or those who are driving so two wheelers or even four wheeler so they can be constant pressure on this area or people who have a lot of household chores to do uh, like cleaning vessels and uh, uh, so many other activities can make the person prone to it and uh, so basically uh, how do we diagnose so when one is the clinical symptoms so anyone who has symptoms affecting these uh, four fingers uh, like tingling, numbness and pain in these areas which are more in, at nights and less in the daytime then we have to suspect a diagnosis of carpal tunnel syndrome and uh, further uh, with examination we can confirm if any area is numb or not and uh, there is specific test called as nerve conduction studies uh, which can help us to confirm the severity of the disease and also sometimes we may need to do ultrasound or MRI of this area because in some people uh, we have seen that a small cyst or a tumor, benign tumor can compress on the median nerve either at the wrist or in the forearm level which can also cause symptoms mimicking carpal tunnel syndrome. So once we have diagnosed this condition, uh, what do we do for this? So first as always we have to go for uh, non-surgical or non-medical treatment. So giving rest to the hand like with using splint or uh, trying to avoid the job or occupation which led to the condition. If it is connected to diabetes or arthritis, we can treat that. And then comes the medications. So we have various medications, specific neuropathic pain medications which can be tried, which works in many people. And then sometimes we can uh, go for local injections in this area, which can also cause relief in the, relief in the pain and the neurological symptoms. Those who have severe uh, nerve compression in that area or nerve entrapment, they can go for decompression surgery. So it's a minor surgery done under local anesthesia where the median nerve pressure over the median nerve is released. And most patients, they have good relief after the surgery or the treatment. But minor symptoms like numbness or mild tingling may remain even after that. So, you know, so today we have covered one important topic of carpal tunnel syndrome, which is quite common uh, in today's world because most people have to use mobile phones, computers, mouse, and a lot of uh, driving is required. So these things make a person prone to get it. And then uh, and I have discussed the diagnosis and treatment options for this condition. Most people can get good relief after treatment. So if you have any uh, comments or queries, please post them. Like and share this video. And subscribe to this channel to watch more educative videos in the future. Thank you.